nights like this, I wish snow would just fall. <laughs> What's up, world? It's your boy, Mr. Free Game. Welcome to Free Game Nation, where I give you nothing but free information. Take it how you want it, but I guarantee if you put good out into the world, good will come back to you. Now, now the topic of today is COVID-19 plague. So, what I'm going to do is, you already know, man, I'm going to let y'all enter into the mind of the man that they call Mr. Free Game. And I'm going to give you a list of all the plays that I jumped in at the beginning of the coronavirus, at the beginning of this COVID-19 last year around February and March. See, while most people was out there buying toilet paper and tuna fish, your boy Mr. Free Game was purchasing these stocks that was falling, dropping it like it was hot, getting ready to finesse the game, and that's exactly what I did. If you're new to Free Game Nation, like, subscribe, tap that bell on the side, and hey, you know, I'm going to keep you posted. Make sure you stay linked in to the end of the video so you can catch the mental jewel of the day. But right now, I'm going to jump into these plays while I'm sipping on some protein. Diving straight in, as you can see. My even name is the Vid19 Plays. That mean I got into all these plays just because of the coronavirus around February or March of last year. And most of these plays have been doing amazing for me. So, let's scroll all the way down to the bottom. You got to go airlines first. American Airlines ticket summer AAL is sitting at $18.92. Average cost for me is $12.97. As you can see, I'm already up 45% on this play. That's a great return. Now, the reason why I jumped into this play is simply this, and this was the strategy. In February, before everything popped off, American Airlines was trading at around $28.84 a share. So, when I jumped in at 12, I knew that it had a substantial amount to grow to get back to where it was initially. Now, we're halfway there. We got about 10 more dollars in growth to go. What I'll do is I'm probably going to be selling some of these shares once it gets to the $22, $23 mark. I'm going to take partial profits and then I'm going to leave. 15 to 20 shares in here just to hold for the long haul because American Airlines is an amazing stock. Now, ticket symbol CUK is Carnival. Carnival is another. Let's see. Carnival operates as a global cruise and vacation company. So, this is your Carnival uh, cruise lines and things of that nature. I jumped in on this one at $11 as an average cost, okay? Carnival is already sitting back up at $20 a share. So if we look down, this 86% profit, 86% profit, we almost hit that 100% profit mark. Once I hit that 100% profit mark, more than likely, I'm going to sell off. 10 of these shares take some partial profits and stick in the rest and just hold on CCL is another kind of a cruise line yep it operates in North America Australia it does cruises and things of that nature as well now we're sitting at $24.81 a share right now average cost for me is $14 so I'm already up $10 in this plate. It's a 73% profit on my initial investment. 
Now, the reason why I'm in this play again, if I go back to that year mark and we click on February, you guys, we're looking at $42.56 a share, right? So even at $24 a share right now, we still talking about another $20 per share profit that could happen with this share. If the Rona Rona, the vaccines come out and everything gets situated and everything go back to normal, people start traveling, jumping on these carnival cruises like they were before. They ain't got nothing but time to sit there and finesse the game. Now, another one is Macy's. Now, I told a few female friends of mine about Macy's. I can remember that I told Mrs. Rice, Miss Teresa. I said, Teresa, man, you gotta jump on this Macy's plate. It was at like $5 a share when I told her about it. She was like, no, Mr. Free Game, I ain't gonna do it. I said, all right, man, I'm telling you, jump on Macy's, it ain't going nowhere. They selling off them stores because they going online because everything going online. But look at what happened. Boom. A couple of months later, it bounced back. And now we're sitting at $15 a shirt. See where we were? February, we were sitting at 16 So Macy's is back to where it was. But I'm waiting for it to hit around $20. It hit $20 a share. I'm waiting for it to jump back up to $20 a share. And then more than likely... I'm going to sell out 25 shares and I hold on to the rest. Another one is SABR. Sabri. 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 Anyway, so your boy, Mr. Free Game, I jumped in this one with an average cost of $6.51 a share. As you can see, it's sitting up at $14.75 right now. I'm at 126% profit in this play now as you can see on most of these plays i wasn't able to get my full position like i try to tell you all you always want to get 75 to 120 125 shares so that way you can sell off those partial profits and with this stock i wasn't able to do that now as you can see the height of this stock was 22 dollars a share we sitting at 14 right now i'm saying once it gets to around 17 dollars a share more than likely i'm gonna sell all 14 of these shares just because i don't have a significant position enough to hold on to it that's what i feel now another one is save save is sprint airlines it's another airline company now this one bounced back pretty quick pretty fast because it is a personal airline. Now, as you can see, I jumped in at around $9.50 a share, $9.46 to be exact. I'm up 276% in this play. Now, when you're talking about profits, you guys, there's profits, okay? That's how you finesse the game. Just a little bit about Sprint Airlines is an airline that offers travel to price conscious customers. Its customers start with an unbundled base fares that remove components, including in the price of an airline ticket. The company was founded by Ned in 1964. So, you know, they've been around for about a minute. Now. Spirit Airlines was sitting at $42 a share right before the V hit and the V took over the world. Right now we're sitting at $35 a share. So we're looking at around five, five to $7 of growth that could potentially happen. So even though I'm sitting at 276% profit, I'm on hold out until I at least hit that 40 mark and then 
because I only have five shares, more than likely, I'm going to sell these five shares and invest that money into some dividend stocks that I want willing to hold for long term that's going to pay me for having stock in their company. Next up is Sassel, S ticket symbol SSL. Now, I jumped in this stock at $5.53 a share. If we hit the chart, we go back to the year mark, go back to February, we can look and see that it was, it was trading at around $14.88 a share. Right now, it said $13.93. So it's almost back to where it used to be. Be honest with you, once we hit that $14, $15 mark, I'm selling these 19 shares. I'm grabbing that bag and I'm rolling past go monopoly money boy. All right, the next one, William Hill. Now I'll be honest with you. I like this this company right here. Ticket symbol W-I-M-H-Y. I love this company. It's a good company to have. I jumped in it at $3.24 a share. As you can see, I'm up 365%. Those is gains. That's what you looking for. That's how you want to finesse the market, you guys. There's no way I can lose on this play from where I got in to where it is now. I can stay in this play until it drop all the way down to $5 and still cash out with profit. Now, a little bit about this company, William Hill provides gaming and betting services across multiple channels. I'll let y'all read out that when y'all got time. Got a few more plays for you. Let's go to Pump. Pump jumped in at $2.11. It's up to $9.48. It was 10. I'm up 349%. Probably going to sell out of this once it get back to $10 a share. NCHL, no reason cruise lines. I jumped in at $13.56 a share. Hit the chart. It used to be $51 a share. We're sitting at $26.85. be honest with you, 24 shares. I'm probably going to stay in this one until it gets about $35.40. Then I'll probably be cashing out. Taking those profits, investing into some long-term plays. That's just me. That's how I feel. No reason Cruise Line is an amazing stock. It is going to be around for a long time. It survived the vid. It did. But to me, because I don't have a significant position, I'm not going to hold on to it. I'm just going to let it ride. Now, Crestwood Equities, this is one of my uh dividend plays more than likely most of that money that i'm snatching from those other plays are going to be going into this one and i jumped in this one at ten dollars and 35 cents a share it was 27 it's up to 21.71 we're looking at 109 percent gains but also this div this stock pays me dividends quarterly At 11%, check out some of these dividends, $30, $30, $62, $63, yeah, more than likely I'm going to be holding on to this stock, it's not going nowhere anytime soon. DCP Midstream is another one of my favorite dividend stocks. As you can see, I'm up 451% in this stock, you guys. That's how you finesse the game. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a euro right there. I jumped in at $3.83. We sitting at $21. It's higher than it was a year ago before the VIA hit. I'm holding on to that play. I ain't going nowhere in that play. More than likely, I'm going to be jumping in and getting some more shares of this. All right, we almost done. Ticket number two. Ticker number two. Two Harbors Investments. I jumped into this stock. Let's see where it was. It used to be $15 a share. 
My average cost is five dollars. We sitting at six ninety eight. This one is taking a little while to, to jump back, you know, but I'm going to hold out. I'm going to wait on it. I got faith in it that it's going to get back to where it used to be. And while I'm doing it, I'll be in, um, collecting those dividends. So I have no problem with waiting on it as long as it's paying me dividends quarterly. And it pays a pretty good dividend. We're looking at $17, $0.17 cents per share. I can deal with that. All right, next up is ticket some ICAGY. This is another one of my favorite dividend playing stocks that I jumped in. As you can see, it used to be $16.54 sure. I jumped in right around $4. It's sitting at $4.66, but this is another dividend play, you guys. I'm only up 16% in this play. But the dividends, is, it had been coming to me heavily. The October, it gave me a dividend of $61. There's free money. Tell you what, I'm going to stay in this play. Don't plan on getting out of this play. As you can see, your boy has a substantial position in this play at 350 shares. And I ain't going nowhere. Last one is NGL. Let's see where we were a year ago. We were sitting at around $9.52. Your boy jumped in at $2.77. It was $9.52 right before the video hit. 300 shares. It's another dividend play. I don't plan on going nowhere anytime soon. I take those gains and I take those dividends. Now, I know there was a lot, but hey, this is just a little free game from your boy, Mr. Free Game, for your entertainment pleasure. You know what I mean? That's what I did. Some of those plays, you still can jump in. They still got room to move up. That's what you want. You want growth, but I'll be honest with you, that average cost, it was just beautiful, beautiful. Hey, you ain't even gotta ask what's in my cup. You already know. I'm drinking some protein. I'm drinking, I'm sipping on that planta. You know, today the, the flavor of choice is Madagascar, vanilla, Madagascar, Madagascar, vanilla. Um, and you already know I got the link below for Free Game Nation. Get on your protein, man. Get on your health. You know, health is wealth. Uh, my boy, my Mike taught me that. Yes, so. yes. The vid 19 list is real. Now, you all let me know if you in some of these plays. Let me know where you stand in some of these plays. If you jumped in last year like I did and uh, you was on your game, you was ready to finesse these markets. Or uh, let me know if you plan on jumping in sometime this year before they reach their ultimate goal of getting back where they used to be because they still have a lot of growth potential. Now, the initial goal for me with these plays were to jump in, wait till they double or wait till they get as close to their normal price point as possible, then cash out. Now, as you can see, I wasn't able to fill my full position in some of these plays because your boy didn't have that much cake back then. But I still jumped in, still managed to jump in, get some significant shares in order to catch some of those profits on the way back up. But hey, you already know, man, my sole purpose here is to help teach you about the game, teach you about stocks, investing, and help y'all finesse the game so we can get this paper, man. The ultimate goal is I want everybody out there that's watching me and listening to me to make money just like I make money. So without further ado, the mental jewel of the day is simply this. And I'm going to say it like this. He who has extra money in a pandemic, recession, or depression is king or queen. Holla to the bank. If you broke, then you can't relate.